everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to take a look at what's being called possibly another Comet McNaught. Comet Atlas coming towards the, the inner solar system could be a visible daytime comet. We're going to take a closer look at this article here in just a moment. That would be coming up this October. But first over here, it's a homepage of the website. Today's feature photo sent in by Evan Mitchell by Todd Gates out of Pennsylvania. Get a load of that roll cloud nearly touching the ground once again visible in Pennsylvania quick look at the ghost x-ray flux over here at the space weather prediction center all quiet the last 24 hours Schumann resonance definitely not the same very active the last 24 hours multiple long duration spikes being detected in the Schumann hopping over to the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano still showing some highly unusual activity up here along the the northern edge of the caldera seeing a little bit of earthquake activity at the eastern entrance mirror lake pelican cone and down here at little west thumb other than that nothing major going on at the super volcano here's a look at that wildfire smoke over near the the los angeles area i had video footage sent in by by chris wood from that location they saw the the wildfire as it was developing they sent me in more video footage of the the wildfire as it was climbing up to the peak of the the mountain a mere 10 miles from the, the densely populated areas of the, the Los Angeles metro community. And you can see as this thing was getting started, this was just minutes after the wildfire got started. Over there in the Los Angeles area, there's Chris checking out the, the wildfire at the peak. This was just minutes after the wildfire just started and they still don't know what caused this wildfire. So as you look at the, the wildfire here, all you can see primarily is smoke, a very large smoke plume. Less than a minute later, they said the flames came up over the ridge of the mountain. Very tall flames, as you can clearly see. I'm zoomed in on the left, the original vertical video over here on the right. And you can clearly see the large plume of smoke ascending up into the sky. That's the, the Fork Wildfire. You can see how close it is to the, the very densely populated area of Los Angeles, California. And it's not the only one that's occurring over there. There's multiple brush fires in the... Los Angeles community so that's something that we're we're definitely keeping a very close eye on coming over here to spaceweather.com incoming daylight comet might not fall apart they're watching this comet right here and in some regards this is being compared to comet McNaught of 2007 that was easily visible in the daytime sky there's a look at McNaught right there want to show you guys what McNaught looked like on the Soho Lasco C3 spacecraft this is what the comet looked like as it was making its close approach to the sun. I mean, this thing was a dazzler. It was incredibly big, highly photogenic. We could be seeing this again in October. This is the orbital diagram that shows where the comet is currently at, C2023 Atlas. It's coming up from below the ecliptic plane, should be visible in the daytime sky in October. And you can see the path of this very big comet coming down, going under the ecliptic and then back above the ecliptic plane that's when we should be able to see it from earth in the daytime sky so yet another very cool celestial phenomenon coming up in october of 2024 so we'll definitely be waiting patiently for that one again if it's anything like mcnaught from 2007 it should be a stunner we'll have the cameras loaded up and ready to go i want to show you guys some cool sky photos that i've received here recently this is a video sent in by Christopher out of st. Augustine Florida couldn't help but notice the very colorful glowing clouds off the coast of st. Augustine what a cool video taken by Christopher from st. Augustine Florida have more footage of ominous skies here Lindsay Arnold sent this video in from July 16th not sure of the location but check out that big vortex looking cloud in the sky very dark ominous looking sky you've got what looked like vertical beams over here to the right and then back over here to the left the the big vortex this also 
also look like some sort of a potential vortex forming in the sky. Photos sent in by Alexandria from 719 of 24 from Wedgefield, South Carolina. Yet another very ominous looking sky. This next segment is a video sent in by, by Joseph out of St. Marie, Montana. Almost looks like a funnel up there in the sky amongst the, the dark clouds from Montana. This video has narration by Joseph. Here we go. Saturday, July 20th, 2024. St. Marie, Montana. Anu Naki. Rock Mortani Haka Tunaki. Anki. Aki Go Naki Hakana. Rock. Another ominous looking sky out of Montana. And to go along with the feature photo today on the homepage of the website, this very long photogenic roll cloud, I have photos sent in of more roll clouds, very random roll clouds in the, the daytime sky by David T. out of Springfield, Missouri. Check this out. These things were all over the daytime sky, just randomly positioned, not like one long roll cloud that extends as far as you could see in both directions. When he looked up, this was a series of just just random roll clouds throughout the daytime sky that had no rhyme or reason like the the long roll cloud we saw in Pennsylvania when he looked up these things were going in all different directions and there were too many to even count at least in the photos that he shared with me I found that interesting that nearly perfect circle over there here you can count those there's about six in that particular photo maybe five in that particular photo this one here it's a little difficult to tell how many are, are in the photo and check out this photo here you can see how random they are one going this direction one going this direction much longer you got two or three over here headed towards his location just super random roll clouds in the sky of various shapes and sizes unlike this one here that was super big and very low to the ground thanks for the photos and videos guys keep them coming if you guys have any photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mr mbb 333.com if you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email come over here to the home page of the website look for this red banner here that says have a large video it's a drop box drag and drop your video into the drop box please include your first name date and location and i'll take it from there thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there